तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड द बेसिक्स ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस सो आई शुड सजेस्ट टू ऑल दोस हैव नॉट सीन दोस वीडियोस प्लीज सी दोस वीडियोस इट इज अवेलेबल इन आवर चैनल प्लेलिस्ट ओके सो नाउ वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर टॉपिक ऑफ दिस बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स दैट इज सोर्स शिफ्टिंग ओके टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन how would uh, one uh, current source is transferred into a voltage source uh, along with the resistances okay so now we are going to see the concept of source shifting okay how to do the source shifting that is how to shift the current sources and voltage source into the different branches that is basically this concept okay source shifting that is if an if in a network there is no impedance in series with the voltage source or there is no impedance in parallel with the current source impedance or resistance you can uh it's one and the same then the source transformation cannot be directly applied okay that we know that in order to apply source transformation we should be having a resistance in parallel with the current source or a resistance in series with the voltage source right so that's for that's the statement here in such cases shifting of a source plays an important role because if when whenever we don't have uh along with the resistance uh, or source uh, uh, current or a voltage source if you don't have in such cases shifting of a source plays an important role to that particular branch okay so that's why while doing source shifting it must be remembered that the voltage and current configurations of a given network should not be changed that is voltage and current configurations means whatever the voltage source and current source are given in a particular question after shifting those values of those voltage and current sources cannot be changed okay it should be remained as it is after shift okay shifting of voltage source is known as e shifting and for current source it is known as i shifting okay so these are this is the theory part let's see the how the voltage source shifting takes place by one single simple circuit here so here we have uh, uh, some simple circuit between the terminals a and b these are the two impedances z1 and z2 which are having uh, connected they are they are connected in parallel and along with that one voltage source is there so here this is before shifting and this figure is after shifting you can see that this voltage source is been shifted to these two branches here how by you can see that from here it has traveled one in this direction and one is one in this direction okay so that's why we got here this is plus minus and this voltage source from here, this place it is shifted to these two branches but here the voltage value should not be getting changed and also we should be seeing that the impedance should be in series with the voltage source okay so that's why like this we should be shifting from this point this voltage source has been shifted to these two branches okay where the polarities are the same because if we move from here this is plus minus this would be plus minus and from if it moves in this direction it would be plus minus similarly here minus plus and it moves when it moves like this the plus and minus so that's why we would be getting the source shifting like this for a voltage source so there is no single series impedance with source v and it cannot be transferred to a current source the lower ends of z1 and z2 are at potential v with respect to base node b as it is given in the figure 1 yeah you can see here after source shifting it can be seen in figure 2 that the lower ends are still at v with respect to b the lower ends are still at v that is the polarities are not changed so this is the simple voltage source shifting So now let's see what is current source shifting. Okay, if in a network there is no single impedance in parallel to a current source, then shifting of current source is necessary for source transformation. Similarly, for voltage source, if we don't have a series resistance along with the voltage source, uh, source transformation is uh, not possible. Similarly, for it is for current source also. So this is before shifting, then this is after shifting. In case of current source. whenever we have a connection like this uh, between terminals a and b z1 and z2 are connected through different branches and for these two branches end points we have one current source connected like this whenever we have like this this current source we can be dividing between these two branches in such a way that it should be with in parallel with the resistance so here we can see that this current source is splitted like this okay keeping in mind the direction the direction should not be changed and the value of current also should not be changed okay so, so like this it is shifted here okay by these two like this satisfying the condition that it should be in parallel with the resistance so this is the simple current source shifting so
so these kind of problems now we have uh, two important problems let us see that and let us try to solve so in this case we should be using both source shifting as well as source transformation these kind of questions would be asked for exam they won't be asking only source transformation they would be giving you one complex circuit and they would, be, they would be telling you to find the reduce the network using both source shifting as well as source transformation okay you should keep that in mind so we have two problems uh, two different problems let us solve that so this is that problem here very simple in this case they have told us to determine the voltage v that is a voltage across this two ohm resistor using source shifting as well as source transformation okay both both of both the things we should be doing here first do the in the first part of the circuit you should be trying to shift the sources after that the uh, the uh, next steps and all you should be doing the source transformation and solving you should be reducing the network and finding the voltage across this to ohm resistance okay yeah first thing is do the source shifting which which source shifting is possible either current source or voltage source that you should be checking first so in this case we have one current source here but we cannot be splitting this current source uh, to, to these two branches because if we shift like this it would be in series and we know that current sources cannot be in series but this voltage source we can be shifting this to these two branches here like this because we know that we in series uh, the voltage source uh, if it is in series it is valid right but if current source is in series with resistance it is invalid so this source you should be keeping as it is and this source you should be shifting to these two places and from in this point you should not be having any voltage source so that's the first step here i would write you the circuit and tell you how it is so here like this i have written the circuit here i have shifted this source to these two branches with respect to the polarity no change in polarity and no change in the value also it would be remaining as it is okay don't try to divide this since we have considered considered to we have divided this into two voltage source don't try to divide the value of voltage you should be keeping it as it is as 3 volt only okay so now it satisfies that is this and this are in series so next next part is very simple you should be trying to reduce the circuit okay not much reduction of circuit we should be doing now but before that the circuit here looks a bit complicated right so now in order to reduce the complications we can do some necessary changes okay that is uh, rearranging some uh, rearranging and rewriting the circuit that is you can see that from here to here this is one single branch right this whole branch i'll shift it to this point here because it's one and the same this if i shift this whole branch and write it like this it's one and the same that is if i do like this what we would be getting this whole thing it would be coming here and this 4 ohm and 3 volt i would be writing here okay because this is in series right after we shift this branch here this thing would be in series so this 4 ohm and 3 volt i'll write it here in order to in order to reduce complications that is so here see here i'm writing here this 3 ohm and 3 volt that is 3 ohm and 3 volt i'm uh, see the polarity don't try to change the polarity okay that is plus minus only keep it as it is then this 2 amps and then we have 1 ohm this is 2 ohm along with the voltage sign then we have 4 ohm and 3 volt like this you should be Uh, reducing the complexity of this circuit like this we should be reducing now nothing much to do now just we need to uh, solve do solve using source transformation the necessary changes you should be doing that is here we have these two branches voltage source with series converted to current source with parallel that is and this here see the, the polarity plus minus so along with the resistance 3 ohm then we have 2 ampere then here upward we have 1 ohm resistor this is 2 ohm and this 2 ohm we should be keeping till the end because we need to find voltage across this 2 ohm resistor right then this 
current source here along with the resistance right resistance is 4 ohm and this value here is these two current sources value here is i is equal to v by r 3 by 3 is 1 ampere and here 3 by 4 right that is a uh, 0.75 so i'll keep it as 0.75 ampere here okay 3 by 4 so now what to do add these two current sources here after adding these two current sources what we would be getting here is 1 plus 2 is 3 so that's why this would be 3 amps along with the resistance and this is 1 ohm this is 2 ohm Four ohm, point seven five ampere. Now what we can do is we can uh, convert this part is there right here. This part we can convert it and write it as a, a voltage source in series so that we can say uh, say that this would be connected to a single branch and we can add the two resistances here. That is voltage source in series resistance 3 ohm along with this 1 ohm mm. 2 ohm point 0.75 ampere 4 ohm so now this is 1 ohm and now what is the value here V is equal to I into R 3 into 3 is 9 volt so now we can see that 3 ohm and 1 ohm resistances are in series we can convert it to a single resistance right after converting it to a single resistance we would be getting 4 ohm then convert it to the current source in a parallel resistance so that we could be adding the two current sources that is this is 4 ohm and i is equal to v by r right v and r value is now 3 plus 1 4 ohm that would be 9 by 4 okay hope this is clear this is 0 0.75 and this 2 ohm uh, you should not be touching you should be keeping it as it is then we have 4 ohm right is this clear right then nothing much to do add these two uh, current sources and these two uh, resistances are in parallel so that is 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4 that is 16 by 8 that is equal to 2 ohm so this would be now 2 ohm resistance I'll write it here 9 by 4 plus 0.75 or uh, 0.75 is equal to 3 by 4 right 9 by 4 plus 3 by 4 that is equal to 12 by 4 and that is equal to 3 amps so that is this would be now 3 ampere and this 2 ohm resistance you should not be touching it I've told you then we have 4 4 equivalent resistance is again 2 ohm okay so this is the final part now what to do this 2 ohm don't keep touch it but these two current source in parallel convert it to one voltage source in series resistance that is this would be now V is equal to I into R 3 into 2 that is 6 volt along with this 2 ohm resistance and this 2 ohm which you have not touched that you should be writing it. Okay after the source transformation. Now final part is finding the current through this finding the voltage through this 2 ohm resistance. First in order to find the voltage this is not the voltage here okay don't think that this 6 volt is the voltage which you have got. The equivalent voltage at the end first try to find the current i is equal to v by r that is i is equal to 6 volt and uh, equivalent resistance in series that is 4 6 by 4 that is equal to 1.5 okay now find the voltage v is equal to i into r that is v is equal to 1.5 into 
the resistance here that is 2 ohm because we need to find the voltage across 2 ohm resistance that is equal to 3 volt okay so in this way we need to solve this problem okay hope this is clear so please uh, take down this problem I have taken a lot of time and solved this because I thought that this is very important and you should be knowing this so that's all for this session guys I will wind up this so we have one more problem related to source shifting let's see it, see it in the next session okay thank you